Salam. Let me tell y'all what's going on in the world. So now, all in Africa, they the whole continent said they don't want nobody from the United States on their land. They didn't want to got their military stuff. I ain't gonna lie, I was proud of them because they ain't never been this way. They tired of being hungry and they the richest people in the world. And some people don't care, whatever. So let me tell you what... Um, um, what country was that? Uh, one of them countries that got the um, that the United States kicked with. It wasn't Great Britain, but I can't think of it right now. So he comes on and said, we have to keep Africa the way it is. Colonized. That's what he basically said. And no matter what, to keep them that way because everybody in the world need what they get. Well, let me tell y'all something. The reason they on that line because God gave them those materials for them. It was not for no one else. Um, so right now, um, they ahead. So the money game for China, Russia, it, that Arab country, one of their dollars. Uh, how it go? One of their dollars is 50 of the United States dollars. 50! One of their dollars. So that means you can use United States money for toilet paper right now. Do y'all it's Britain, Great Britain. So Great Britain wants to keep them colonized. They told them they better get they stopped the oil line and told them to get up off their land. So guess what? Um they scared now because now it's them that have to live like they made them live. That karma extra special, honey, it is. It's extra special. Um, you know, and you have to read the book of Obadiah. Because when I read it, I understood exactly what God had to say about who he had to say it about. You know, that Bible and, and the lost books is very special and rare. Best books, that's the best reading in the world. When you know how to read it and you know how to understand it. You should not let a preacher tell you how to read it you should ask God for understanding how to read it um and he told exactly what he was going to do and I'm telling you I'm seeing it unfold right now it is literally unfolding right now and the AI said in 2024 March so that ain't long from now I think he said the 21st I think he said he said the first that's when World War Three gonna start. But let me tell you, in the book of Obadiah, it said a, a United States is the eagle. They proud to be that. Will be desolated. Um, you know. But he also said his children gonna be okay, which is us, the Israelites. We gonna be okay. He also speaks about when these times come, the people that are marked. All right, and the people that went back to him. You know. And I'm our, we marked. Um, so, but you can't help nobody because we're going to be in a time where God is letting, he putting his punishment down on people that did not, uh, they knew what they was doing. I'll put it to you that way. They knew and laughed about it and mocked him and said he couldn't do nothing. So you can't help. You better stay out of the way. That's what you better do. You know, that's one thing he told me to tell the people that heard him. Just stay out the way. Don't laugh. Don't do anything. Just stay out the way and act like you don't see it. Don't let nobody in your house. That's an Edomite. Nothing. He said you don't because if you let them in your house, they're going to try to take it over. So you better understand what you're running into. What you're getting ready to experience. Your house is like got that sheep, that blood on it or whatever. It got died on it. So, if you marked to be saved, you can't save nobody else. Um, especially people that won't listen and won't and, and think God is a joke. You understand that? So, just, um, and I ain't trying to be racist. I'm not trying to be racist, but it is what it is. It, you had to get paid back just like we had to get. It, it took us 2,000 years to get up up under what we had done um but his punishment for everybody else 
because he loved us. He just wanted to make us better people. But his punishment for other people going to be swift. You understand? And when he said uh, in Obadiah that when he get done, it won't be one left. Um, and then the Israelites will be restored. So in order for us to be restored and live here, it can't be anybody here that hate us because the land is ours. You understand the land is ours. So I just wanted to tell y'all that. But um, y'all be prepared and get y'all food and water together. Uh, they trying something, you know, funny. It ain't going to work, though. God want me to let y'all know it ain't going to work. Um, I'm not going to say what he's saying. But I'm going to just say this. You know what you're getting ready to try. It's not going to work. You don't have the time. And when he get done with this land, it won't be nobody here but us. So, um, that's all I had to say. Salam. And I love you guys. And y'all take care and be safe.